Okay, so given phi, the temperature is 70 degrees. This is one statement. We, instead of writing this, we said phi. Q, the air conditioner is working. So this is another statement for Q. R, the apartment is hot. So this is, you know, usually we represent positive without negation. We represent variable without negation. That is always true. That is always smart. So, and once we have a negation in the problem or symbol, we can do that later on. So how many letters here? Three letters. Do, do, do we know what the letter is talking about? Yes, we know. Now, what is the question? Write the statement in word. Okay, since we're going to write in word, give, you know, what we're going to write in word? Open parentheses, phi, the temperature is 70 degree, if and only if, R in this case is apartment is hot. The apartment is not hot. Close parentheses or we, once we have a group, we put a comma. And this conjunction is and. And Q is the air conditioner is working. So air conditioner is not working should be that. Okay, so let's actually outline it here. Okay, let's actually outline it here. So that's the fee. Here you go. That's the fee. I'm going to just plug it in here. And that is the Q. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to erase this here. Okay, so that would be the Q. And that would be the R. Just like that. We just plug it in. Okay, so once we plug it in, actually, I already mentioned it. Let's actually take a look here again one more time. Okay, so we are going to actually write down the temperature 70 degree means this is a fee it's temperature 70 degree if and only if now we do if and only if r what is r the apartment is not hot the apartment is not hot clearly okay so we put a comma why that's a groove okay once we have a groove we put a comma okay now next one last one not q what is that? The air conditioner is not working. So we can say air con and, and the air conditioner is not working. That's done. That's what the question is asking. Thank you.